it's Florida day 12. And we're going to try and kind of squeeze in as much as possible. I feel like there's still quite a lot that we've not done here yet. We've spent quite a lot of time like waiting in queues and stuff. So we're going to try and do everything that we want to do that we've not done yet. And yeah, it should be a fun day. It's going to be another hot one. It says that it's going to be 35 again today. So another hot day, but it should be fun, shouldn't it? First thing first, white monster energy. I'm an ice bucket, please. <laughs> with Homer, didn't you? Yeah, certainly did. Shook his hand, say Shook hello. Shook his hand, say hello. Um, but yeah, we're heading over to Simpsons Land first today. Because we've, no, we've not been there yet. I don't really like the Simpsons, to be honest, but you do. Channel 4, on a weeknight, 6 o'clock. I tried to put it on and she kicks off. No, it's not good. I just don't like it. I'd rather watch Friends. Friends are better. The Simpsons, do 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 Krusty Burger, what does Krusty the Clown say? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Scott is making a purchase. <laughs> Why are you buying that? I think it'd be funny. Where are you going to wear it? Mum and Dad's <laughs> Dan Man in Black Alien Attack. It was good to be fair, wasn't it? It's like a shooting game and it like spins you around like mine, doesn't it? I won. At least the last 5,000 points. Yeah. You made a little friend as well, didn't you? Yeah, so it was like a... There was like three seats yeah. per row and we had a little kid next to us. He was really cute, wasn't he? Yeah, so like obviously if you see Men in Black you know that he wipes your memory with his little pen so you don't remember anything and he did it on the screen the little kids started going, wait, where am I? What's my name? What's my name? <laughs> what is this? He was so cute. It was really good. It was funny. That's it. So we've just come to Florian Fortis News for some ice cream. I've gone for strawberry peanut butter and salted caramel blondie. I had the salted caramel blondie last time and it was really good. So I thought I would try the strawberry and peanut butter this time and I do really like it. And Scott has gone for some different ones this time. So you've got apple crumble and Earl Grey and lavender. What's the Earl Grey and lavender like? Very nice. Basically just vanilla with a bit of lavender in it. Yes. I kind of want to get a wand so I can do some spam. What about a Gryffindor float that no. can look like Hermione? When? When when we get the home though you're gonna use a wand and when when are you gonna wear this grip and door clothes? And then when after that? When we come back. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. So Lisa's currently munching away on her ice cream, absolutely loving it. I had the Earl Grey lavender, which was good. Got to the apple crumble, it was full of cinnamon. I'm not a fan of cinnamon, so. Had to, had to dispose of it. Uh, I thought it was peanut butter. Yeah, I know, it's strawberry peanut butter on the top, and then salted caramel blondie on the bottom. That makes and then on the salted caramel blondie layer now, which is my favourite one. So the guy we had gave us quite small scoops, but the guy who was like next to us was giving like, like, Massive. Yeah, got gachua like scoops. Yeah, huge. So, yeah, we've got some Fast and Furious. So, we're going to go and have a look at that because I love cars. And as you can see, over there, we've got a Dodge Challenger. You've got a Corvette Stingray. And then just a Toyota that no one really cares about. So.
York with Jimmy Fallon and it was really good wasn't it? Yeah, it was like that. a 3D like simulator type thing. It's good 3D it was, though as well, a 3D as well. Yeah, there's a bit where they were like chucking bits of pizza out and it actually felt like it was coming towards you didn't it? It was a lot better than what I expected, so that was fun. As us done at Universal Studios now, we're coming out onto City Walk to get some lunch. And then this afternoon we're heading over to Islands of Adventure, which is still part of Universal, but it's just like a different park. And yeah, that's the plan for this afternoon. Scott has spotted some fish. Is it a catfish? Scott knows a lot of facts about wildlife, don't you? Yeah. Not type of catfish, but it'll be. Birds and fish and all the animals really. Yeah, Don't know if you can see it on the camera. Look at all of these donuts. Wow. Oh that one's cute, it's got a little umbrella. We just had a quick look in Voodoo Donuts. I think we're gonna have to stop in there on the way out and pick some up because the donuts look unbelievable, don't they? Look so, so good. Um, so we're heading to Panda Express for lunch today, which is like a Chinese... Takeaway street food type thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna sit and have that. I'm quite hungry now. And yeah, it should be good. So I've gone for orange chicken. Beijing beef and chow mein. And then what have you gone for? Noodles, Angus steak, and pan wok fried shrimp. That's look good, this, doesn't it? Do that now at the end. Uh, at the end. First ride in Islands of Adventure was Spider Man. Really good actually. I didn't really know what to expect from it, but it was another one of like the 3D rides. A lot of the rides at Universal are sort of similar, aren't they? 3D glasses and like it kind of like moves around and stuff. Go on that. But yeah, it was really good. It was quite like it had a lot of stuff going on, didn't it? Yeah. It was really good. So where do you want to head to next? Uh, let's go this way and see where we end up. Yeah. Towards Jurassic Park. Do you want to do the bus coaster again? Yeah. See what the wait time's like. See what the wait yeah, time's maybe. like. It is a bit busier today than it was yesterday, so. So Scott's done the Velocicoaster coaster for the third time. He had his arms up the whole way around this time because he's a big brave boy, aren't you? Yeah, Lisa saw me do it as well, it's got proof. We've just had a little walk through by Hogwarts and Hogsmeade and then I think we're going to head home now. It's quite busy, it's quite hot, so I think we're going to chill by the pool for a couple swim, of hours. Swim, swim, swim. And then head to Disney Springs tonight. A bit later now and we are on our way to Disney Springs. I feel like I've not really filmed that much today, but I find it quite hard like when you go to like the same park multiple times because you run out of things to film. Especially at Universal because you can't film on the rides. Yeah. So I kind of feel like I don't want to be like filming the same stuff like over and over and over again. So I'm not sure how long this one's going to be, but hopefully we've still got enough in there. We'll film all that tonight because you want yeah. some makeup and stuff like that. So we film yeah, we're going shopping. We're heading to Disney Springs. We've got a reservation at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming for tea, which I am so excited about. Apparently, they have got like the best mac and cheese which I am really, really looking forward to. So we've got a reservation there and we're going to do a bit of shopping and stuff as well. We're going to nip into the Disney shop as well because Scott wants a Star Wars t-shirt, don't you? Yeah. You've not found one that you like yet. So we're hopefully going to get one in there. And looking for like a white one. Do you not want a black one? Nah. I've got three black Back to the Future t-shirts. So I actually want a white Star Wars one. Yeah. Fair enough. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight. We're just heading over to the bus stop now. Um, so we'll catch up with you when we get also, to Disney Springs. Think about making my YouTube channel. What are you gonna do on there? Adventurous adventure. Wilderness explorers. Wilderness explorer stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so at least didn't get any makeup, but she did get us a T-shirt from. Yeah, they didn't have the shade of foundation that I wanted, so um, yeah, I will just have to order online when I get back. She went to Ron Jovi's surf shop. Got a T-shirt. That is cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's a pink one, so she likes it a lot. It's got like all peachy stuff on the back as well. It's cool. Yeah. Now we're going to go and check in at um, the restaurant we've got booked for tonight, which is called... Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. I can't I keep anyway. forgetting the name, so yeah. Anyway, see you in a bit. Love 
loves it. Are you excited for your food? We've got a good view. We can see all the food getting made, like here. It all looks amazing. It all looks so good, doesn't it? Very, very hungry. Proper comfort food, home southern style of thing. It's like a jump to punch my body. Cuisine. Huh? Cuisine. Yeah, favourite cuisine. So to start, we've gone for the thigh high chicken biscuits, which is a cheddar biscuit with chicken in like a honey sauce. So we're gonna share these. He's clearly very, very eager to get in, but these look really good, don't they? Don't they? Okay, so main courses are here. I've gone for the chicken and donuts with a side of mac and cheese. How nice does that look? Look at the top of that, it looks so crispy. I have gone for a country club sandwich with fried chicken, jalapeno jam, bacon, cheddar, lettuce, tomato, on a brioche bun, served with crisps more potato chips and it's going to be so nice. Well that was unbelievable. Fantastic food. We both say that this is like the fa our favourite thing that we've had since we came here. It was honestly like so good. I think like when you see the menu and you see that it's fried chicken you think like it's just going to be a, glor a glorified KFC. Yeah, but it's like on a whole other level, honestly, like it is so, so good. I think that's like my number one recommendation. Yeah. Definitely. Like if you're coming to Florida, get a reservation at homecoming because honestly you will not be disappointed. And it leaves just full. Yeah, we are stuffed, but in a good way. It was like, yeah, it was honestly nice. amazing. So good. I honestly just can't even describe <laughs> how good it was. It was unbelievable. and I picked myself up a hat tie-dye with Mickey Mouse on it and it says Disney Parks on the back I think it's really cool Toy Story bus it's the first time I've seen one of those it's not ours though which is a shame still cool we're just waiting for the bus waiting patiently so we're back at the hotel now in the biggest food coma ever oh. <laughs> I'm so still full absolutely stuffed so i'm gonna end today's video here because i'm just gonna fall straight into bed and go to sleep when we get back to the room hopefully so, you don't snore and keep me awake again that's you that snores <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna end today's video here hope you enjoyed it as always remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and then we'll be back tomorrow for our last full day we've got a jam park day tomorrow haven't we very and it's gonna be fun Bang. packed as well and one final note if you are coming in make sure you go to uh our restaurant for what was it called <laughs> Cat, uh, chef uh, chef rt home chef rt's homecoming <laughs> chef art smith's homecoming, oh, chef art smith's homecoming. <laughs> see you tomorrow so baby, we start living now.